What's up YouTube, in today's video we're going to see if I can pass an LTA assistant feeding assessment. So the feeding assessment is part of the LTA assistant coach qualification. As a coach of 20 odd years experience, how would I get on? Let's find out. So in the first video, it's a drop feed. The name's a little bit confusing because I'm actually not going to drop the ball, I'm going to lift the ball above my head, very similar to a ball toss. The system will mark out an area roughly the size of a full-size 27-inch tennis racket. And what I have to do is lift the ball above head height and get the ball to bounce two times in the target area. This not only will help keep the ball nice and steady and stable because I have a lot of balance, but will also act as a good role model for the players that I'm working with. On the LTA assistant assessment, each assistant has to demonstrate six feeds with both bounces landed in the box. So that was a drop feed and I think I scored pretty well. Now onto the hand feed. So the hand feed involves me setting up two target boxes in the service box. So the boxes are 27 inches by 27 inches and I'll use a full size racket to mark this out. So with this video, I'll now place myself on the opposite side of the net, close to the net with the ball basket to my left hand side. So with this feed, all I'm going to do is a nice underarm throw into the target area three into the right box, three into the left box. And I'm really working on the height and speed. I'm trying to get a nice flight path into the box. I'm taking my time in between the feeds. This would then allow the player, if there was one in the video, to reposition and reset. Again, if you look at my court position, I'm very athletic. My weight is forwards on my left foot in my case. I'm nice and low, I'm nice and engaged. And again, this is gonna help me steady my feeds. If you have found value in the video, please do me a favor, hit that like button. It really helps get this video out to as many people as possible. If you are currently on your LTA assistant course, please leave me a note down in the comments below which CDC you're currently working with, who your tutor is, and how you're finding the course so far. If you're new to the channel and would like daily tennis content to really up your game, please feel free to subscribe. So two assessments down, one to go. And the last one is the racket feed. Now the racket feed is probably the hardest one, but arguably the most commonly used type of feeding in coaching. Key to the racket feed is to have a very realistic court position when you're feeding. As you can see from the video, I am feeding from the baseline because I'm working on a hypothetical both back situation. Now a lot of tennis coaches will cheat their position and they'll stand a lot closer to the net, but they're feeding the ball from an unrealistic court position. I'll use a chopper or a continental grip because I want to feed a flat ball. I don't want that ball to spin too heavily because my young underweight players would find it very difficult to hit the ball back. Ball bucket is to my left hand side again, so it's easy to reach. Looking very athletic with my weight forwards. Again, this is going to help my feeding. I feed three balls into the right box, three balls into the left box, taking my time in between each one. Now, a couple of tips for you if you are doing your LTA system qualification. Make sure you introduce yourself to the camera before you video. Please make sure you use a wide angle lens so we can get the whole court in. You must not edit in between the feeds. So my videos today, you would notice there was no editing as I was feeding the ball. There's obviously editing in between the setup and the different camera cuts that which I've used for YouTube. But when you are doing the feeding assessment itself, you're not allowed to edit in between the shots. Make sure you pick the right environment. My environment was quite windy on the day. You also have to bear in mind the equipment you use. Old red balls, new red balls will both feed very differently. Sponge balls, probably not the best idea outside, but also if you're inside, you've got to be careful. There's very soft sponge balls out there, and there's very dense and heavy sponge balls as well. So you're going to have to have a play around with whatever equipment you use to give you the best possible chance of getting the highest score possible. The key takeaway from this is feeding is a skill. Go away and practice it. And that's it. Please feel free to watch one of my next videos, which I put on the screen in a few moments. And until next time, I'll see you soon.